falsetto She's at my headaches But she's still dancing to the music that my band played I said, oh If you want to feel the wind blowing through your hair and see the great city of Nashville at the same time, check out Nashville Scooter Tours. Trekking through the downtown streets to Music Row with Nashville Scooter Tours is safe, eco-friendly, and a whole lot of fun. They use Xenon electric scooters that go 55 miles on a single charge. Find out more by calling 615-290-5563 or book your reservation today at NashvilleScooterTours.com. Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Howdy, friends and neighbors, and welcome to What's Up East Nashville, where we bring you all the dirt from the other side of the river. Today's show is going to be awesome. We have hot topics like dog fighting and Santa sightings, as well as other events, and we're going to be checking out a live Google Hangout, so stay tuned. Jeff Meeks and Chris Austin invite you to watch your favorite sports event at the Batter's Box at 43 Hermitage Avenue in Nashville, Tennessee. The Batter's Box offers shuttle service to all Titans home games. It's a great place for friends to gather for the game and after the game. So check out the Batter's Box Bar and Grill and thanks again for sponsoring the show. Microcasting for your city. Talkopolis. Welcome to What's Up East Nashville. I'm Greta and this is Brian and his beautiful East Stashville. Yes. Mustache, which we always talk about. Um, what's going on? What's happening in East Nashville this weekend? Uh, the, the first thing we're talking about this weekend is the East Nashville Farmer's Market apparently has grown too large for the turnip truck parking lot. So they've moved over to uh, 210 South 10th Street. They, they are having all the farmers meet there and that's where you can buy their wares now. Uh, the farmers, the farms that are, are bringing things to it, Delvin Farms, West Wind Farms, Hatcher Family Dairy, Boggy Hollow Farm is going to be there, there from Jolton, and this is their first time there. We also have people bringing goat's milk, soaps, and lotions from Todd's Bend Farm. Toddy's Bend Farm. I can't read. I went to public school. <laughs> um, organic cotton clothing from Ask Apparel and Moose Creek Pepper Sauce will also be selling there. I used to work with the guy Tom, who started and runs Moose Creek Pepper Sauce. It's pretty good. You should go ahead and buy a case of it because you never know when you're going to need to marinate things. Um, but it's Wednesdays from 3.30 to 6.30 p.m. at the Baptist Every Church single there. week of the year over Every, there. Uh, unless there are weeks yeah. where the farms stop. And if yeah. that occurs, then we'll let you know. we have bigger problems in the farmer's market. Well, speaking of marinating, some more interesting news from East Natural. The shops on Fatherland are now open. This is exciting. It's right beside the East Centric Pavilion, and they're located at 1006 Fatherland Street. Now, there's all kinds of shops that have gone into this uh, mini mall, right, Brian? Yes. A lot of them. Um, there's some interesting shops. We've got the Wilderness, Moxie, uh, Laura Lehman Photography. There is a lot of funky stuff to check out, and we need Those to, are my guesses. We, yeah, we need to get over there. Now we're going to talk about what's happening in the Google Group stories for East Nashville. Brian, tell the folks at home what Google Groups are, because, you know, I'm not, I'm not the techie here. No, not that I'm the techiest, but uh, Google Groups, you, you can make your own group that's, uh, that's I guess, uh, centered around a specific location or topic or whatever you would like to do. This one is East Nashville-centric. Um, you People from East Nashville written for and by the East Nashvilleians, and just uh, community concerns, I guess, a good way to keep people in the loop without having to run around with poster board mm -hmm. or paint things on the side of your car and then drive around. Okay. This seems much more efficient. Yeah, this seems super okay. efficient and really inside. Now, one thing they're talking about in the Google groups is dog fighting. There was a big dog fighting ring that was allegedly busted up over the weekend where they found like 65 dogs, right? Yeah, Cheatham County. The guy, they took 65 dogs out of the place and allegedly was a dog fighting operation. And if you have 65 dogs and you're not like an official kennel, mm -hmm. it seems like there's probably something not going correctly there. And there's some telltale things as there, with all illegal activities, there was a treadmill for doggies for training. There was um, some, some special collars, some, some other things I think that made it look like, oh yeah, the red flags went off. But it mostly yeah. was the sheer numbers and they're all pit bulls. And that's what they fight. Yeah, that's... Right. And they're trying to find out, the sad thing is with this operation, most of these dogs may not be even adoptable. They no, may most be of them, after they've been fought, generally aren't. They, they have to be euthanized. Um, and this, this post, I think, uh, 
trying to be informative, trying to keep people on top of on top of the things they should be looking out for if they find a pit bull wandering around. Um, if, We've if got you, some <coughs> Nashville pits, NashvillePity.org. You've got the Pit Bull Awareness of Tennessee, PBATN.org, and then Music City Pit Brigade. So there's a lot of stuff in Nashville out there to help people who maybe um, either have a, come across an operation like this or just are looking to rehabilitate or adopt a pit bull. Yeah. They're great dogs, but once they have had the taste of blood, yeah, it's, I think, if you raise them right, they're going to be good dogs. Right. Uh, and one of the some of the warning signs is about about who you're giving a pit you may have you may have found or you can't take care of. Uh, if you're trying to give it to a rescue, and the the number one thing here says if you're trying to give it to a rescue and they can take it right away, uh, that that's a red flag because most rescues are generally full, and they have to wait for for a spot to open up for you to be able to take the dog over there. And then if the people ask you to bring food or money. Mm. then you shouldn't be giving the dog to them. Yeah, that's. I really usually reserve those two things for my family members. Yeah, but they the, ask me to bring food I, and money. I try not to bring them either one of them. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because then they want me to bring come back. Or they're coming back over. For food and money. But again, if the dogs. the reputable pit bull rescues in the area, like Greta was saying, uh, Nashville Pity, which is NashvillePity.org, P-I-T-T-I-E on the spelling there. Pit bull awareness of Tennessee, P-B-A-T-N.org. And Music City Pit Brigade, Facebook.com backslash Music City Pit Brigade. Uh, next, next topic up on the East Nashville Google Groups is uh, Santa is working on his East Nashville schedule for the season. If you would like to get a picture taken with Santa, or your pets want a picture taken with Santa, or your children and their pets, or maybe just your grandparents, whoever. So Santa is just literally doing a tiny swing through East Nashville and you have to arrange it through Google Groups to yeah, even get a Yeah, you should let him know that people are interested. Otherwise, Santa's just going to move on because it's, it's a that busy, time of year where he's busy. Super busy day. Uh, next up on the list, uh, basically the, the title, Is It Just Me or Is It Hard to Find Good Help in Nashville? Um, a, a local guy, Brian, not me, has had all sorts of, of trouble since he moved here from Santa Cruz two years ago, trying to figure out, hey, who are good people to help me with uh, electrical work in my house? Uh, it says yard work has been the, the biggest one, landscaping, whatever you want to call it, uh, that people are calling him and saying, yeah, we'll come and, and help out. We'll do that for you. And then they either show up late, show up really late, or don't show up at all and then say that it was a miscommunication when yeah, it wasn't. Well, it sounds like our friend Brian from California has never lived in like Jersey or something because their place is way worse than East Nashville in terms of getting good help who's going to show up and arrive on time. And I find, I have never had this experience. I find like people really super nice show up and do what they say. But there are other people on here complaining of the same, who've had the same kind of problems. And then when they find somebody that they like, they go, hey, let's just talk offline and I'll give you the guy's name. But you're not allowed to go offline on Google Groups, are no. you, Brian? And it says, it says email me offline. Mm -hmm. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. That's, that is one of those things I will describe as an impossibility. <laughs> Why? Oh, you have to be online to email. I see. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, okay. there it is. Yeah. There it is. I'm slow, but I'll get there. But, and again, last week we talked about the, the East Nashville, the dating Google group that they wanted to start. Yeah. And uh, our friend Barrett posted every pretty intimate detail about his likes and dislikes. His dental records. He is, He went yeah, for it. He, he knew how many cavities he had going in. <laughs> but Barrett has come to the rescue again. Okay. He's, he posted his, th there's a... Uh, He's got a friend, Whitney Nash, leaves a phone number, 25 years of experience, does perfect electrical work every time. He wired Barrett's entire upstairs, and he regularly finds work for him, which means that Barrett may be tearing things apart in his home yeah. just to help this guy out. Barrett, I would say, economically, that's a poor decision, but if you just need a buddy, you go ahead and keep working with that guy. But Barrett, not only has he been helpful on the dating site, he's now weighed in on the handyman stuff, right? Yeah. Same guy. Well, let's talk about dating, though, because Lisa Gusty did create the East Nashville online dating listserv. It's done. Somebody took some initiative. It was Lisa. And now they're tweaking the forum, and that sounds kinky to me. <laughs> that, Doesn't it? That's actually one of the acts you can request on Where the dating forum. Where is the forum. forum on your body for tweaking? It's, as this is family friendly, yeah. we're not going to go over it now. <laughs> All right. Will you tell me offline well, yes. in an email? I will email okay. you offline about that. All right. What's going on with the dating listserv, though? Is this looking promising? Um... It, there are two posts so far, both from Lisa, so she's got one date. Mm -hmm. um, but they want to keep it on the east side. 
Yeah, they want to keep it East National centric. They don't forget about the old Catholic Protestant thing. It's no. going to be like I don't date people on the West Side. No, the, their segways won't make it all the way across the bridge. <laughs> So you can't. Um, but it's exciting. It just shows you how much can actually evolve here in the Google groups. They went from yeah. talking about it to actually creating the East National Online Dating List Serve. <laughs> in so one week. In one week. So one week, that's efficiency. If you're efficiency. looking for love on the East Side, check that out. It's very exciting. Or just to have your forum tweaked. <laughs> you can also find that on the East Side. I'm going to do a little posting right now about my forum tweaking abilities. Um, All right. Greta, are we, are we special, taking a little break here? Are we going yes. to take a, a breather? It's special, special time. Uh, first time ever, we are going to be using the Google Hangout. This is some new stuff, y'all. And we're going to be talking to uh, Tina Papey, who is going to be joining us. And stick around because we're going to have a real live Google Hangout when we come back. From the family grocery hauler to fire-breathing racing engines, the one name you need to know is USA Motor and Machine, located at 51 Cleveland Avenue in Nashville, Tennessee. Give them a call at 615-726-3725 or at usamotorandmachine.com. Welcome back to East Nashville. We have a live Google Hangout happening. We have Tina Papey, who's over in East Nashville. How you doing? I'm doing great, and you? Awesome. Welcome to the show. Let's talk about East Nashville stereotypes. Do you think that East Nashville gets a bad rap? Um, I think certain parts could, and there are lots of stereotypes, but I think there's this huge melting pot of stereotypes. I think you go there and you could fall under like three or four, and it's just amazing the kind of people, and you try to guess what kind of stereotype they would fall under, and you talk to them, and you find out there's two or three more that they fall under. You know, the soccer moms with the tattoos and then the, you know, the crazy cat lady and the people that have five or six dogs and at the dog park. So it's just an interesting group of people and everybody's always telling stories of their lives. It's just amazing. What do you like about living there? Um, it's, it's one of the few times I felt like community outside my home. Like my home is my home, but still feeling like East Nashville is a place that is my home. You know, I feel very connected to it. And um, it's like the world and the home of artisans. It's just so creative. And um, that's a very much part of me. And it just everywhere you go, there's just something I feel connected with. So you feel like more of a part of a community than just like, oh, you yeah. live in a home in a neighborhood and you don't know anybody. Like it's, yeah, it's more of a community I mean, feel. It's like going to the dog park because I go to the dog park. And I went to the Do you one take a dog? dog park yeah but do you take a dog yes i do okay. or i just attach to one at the dog park that looks lonely <laughs> if one, you know hey we hang out uh and i went to other dog parks and people just stand over to the side but you go to the east nashville dog park and everybody knows everybody you a new dog comes into the dog park and they're like hey it's blah 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 and everybody knows the dog so it's pretty cool you go there and hang out i'll spend like two hours at a time just sitting there hanging out with the dogs and the people and talking it's it's pretty cool excellent for if you were visiting nashville or those uh, people who live on the west side what are some things that you feel like you would just have to do in east nashville what are your favorite spots oh the food the food is amazing just about anywhere you go um you can go get a burger at the pharmacy. The bratwurst is amazing. I'm a bratwurst fan. Um, and just about anywhere you go, you're going to get craft beer. And then you have sweets. You have Jenny's. You have Pied Piper Creamery. Um, Pied Piper Restaurant. You have this amazing mac and cheese that I don't think anyone could replicate. And it's just cheesy goodness. And it just warms your belly. But um, the food places are amazing. And then after that... Like, I had a friend in town Saturday, so we went over to Five Points. I was like, we have to go over to Red Door so you can see it. And there's people talking, everybody friendly. It's like, hey, it's definitely that home away from home or outside the house feel everywhere you go. And you get to know the waitresses, you get to know the staff, and it's just very comforting. It's true. Even places that don't look like they would have great food have great food, like the like the shepherd's pie at the family wash. You, you would oh. know by looking at the place that they would have one of the best shepherd's pie ever. And then you have Bolton's chicken, which is like Delicious. a little shack. And that is like amazing. And pepper fire chicken 
they just it was a little place and now they have their they enclose their outside eating area so now you can go there with the cold weather and have the pepper fired chicken so it's just a big group of people yeah the food is unbelievable are there any changes you'd like to see come to the east side maybe a whole foods anything else no not a whole foods i think turnip truck really encompasses that and it's small and it's more local and they strive for that um a lot of things i think just as long as they continue more community events uh, more restoration and just expanding on whatever is already there i think is just that continuous effort yeah but tina thank you so much for joining That's us will you come problem. back and google hang with us again in the future oh, of course okay you look pretty cool over there we're gonna come maybe get some food with you after the show huh brian absolutely i love eating yeah i love eating too and she's got food and i love community community doesn't always love me but you're right no. it is uh and do you feel like they're welcoming uh, uh to outsiders on the east side in general uh, of course i mean i think nashville in itself welcomes outsiders because um when you go places you never know where these people are from the stories they have the accents they have it's just a big melting pot of everything but in Na east nashville they're welcoming to anybody yeah, it's the place to be. You guys have been watching What's Up East Nashville. Thanks so much for joining Brian and myself, Greta. And we hope to see you right back here, same place, same time, next week. Bye-bye. Microcasting for your city. Talkopolis.